Joining me now is the Social Development Minister, Nelson McCausland. Minister, what are you going to do about this? The story that has emerged today is a very sad story. It's a story of £18 million of public money which has been overpaid to contractors. Uh, that's a sad story. It's a problem for the housing executive and it, I think, vindicates uh, the concerns that I've expressed in regard to the housing executive over the past couple of years. We've had a look in the past very much at response maintenance contracts. There were problems there. Now the look has uh, turned to the issue of uh, plan maintenance. It's clear that there are serious problems there as well, £18 million worth of problems. And there are other contracts that are still to be looked at. But clearly the housing sector has not been managing contracts properly. Now, I've started to put in place uh, with the new chairman and the new vice chair, uh, I've started to put in place measures to ensure that we improve the governance within the housing executive. But there's a lot of work to be done and there are many more things to be investigated before we know exactly how serious the problem is. OK, but looking at the problem that you have identified, are there grounds for criminal proceedings? Well, the figure of £18 million was identified this morning by the chairman of the housing executive. Um, we now have to have a, an independent investigation digging down, a forensic investigation digging down into all the paperwork, all of the records to see exactly how this happened. And then at the end of that it will be possible to say where we go from here. What well, should heads roll? Well, people have to be held accountable for their actions. And clearly there are failures and shortcomings somewhere within the housing executive. We need to get to the bottom of that and we need to ensure that those who have failed are held accountable for that. Well, what about getting the money back? Already the housing executive has started work on that. They are looking at taking legal action against the companies involved uh, and we will have to see how that works out. But every effort will be made um, by the housing executive now to recover as much of that public money as possible. This is money that could have been spent whether on building new homes, whether on um, renovating, uh, improving uh, properties that the executive owns. There's a lot of work that could have been done. There's a lot of work that should have been done, but it wasn't done because money was spent on this. Minister, thank you very much. Thank you.